Well, another massive shout out to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. They've got another big deal, including a 30 day money back guarantee. Save 82% if you grab Atlas VPN for the equivalent of just £1.46 per month. And I'll put a link, of course, uh, down below. But Atlas VPN uh, stops ads and malware, blocks all malicious links, ads and trackers, notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. It's developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers in 2019. Over 6 million users worldwide. And it protects all your devices, unlimited devices, with a single subscription. So as I said, 30-day money-back guarantee, save 82%, £1.46 per month, the equivalent of. Do check out the link below. Well, the cat really out the bag in terms of uh, comments from several uh, EU politicians about what they would like to see uh, happen in the next election, which is a resounding uh, Labour, Keir Starmer victory in Starmer as the new Prime Minister. And now, of course, before, some would have tried to uh, dismiss that, I guess, as some sort of conspiracy theory or whatever. No, this was front page of The Eye recently, that the EU wants Starmer to become PM. EU politicians want Starmer to become Prime Minister. And of course, that's a bit unsurprising given Starmer is now openly calling for a closer relationship with the EU. And that's why we've been clear we want a closer relationship with the EU. That closer? starts with the um, protocol in Northern Ireland. Um, it then goes into a discussion about how close uh, we can be. We can't go back into the EU. There isn't a political case going back into the what EU the or, or, or the single market. But the discussion, what about EFTA? The discussions, I'm having discussions about what a closer trading relationship might look like. Some and so Turkey has been at this uh, World Economic Forum in Davos, which I always think is a bit of a uh, bizarre spectacle uh, at the best of times. He's been mingling over there, apparently. And you see a number of EU politicians speaking out favourably uh, about Starmer, including, yes, you've guessed it, Guy Verhofstadt, uh, quoted there by the eye as saying, what the Western world now needs now is to come together around precisely the areas Starmer mentions, science, technology, research, security, foreign affairs, adding that the Conservatives' cartoon version of Thatcherism uh, isn't helping. Well, I was under the impression Thatcherism involved tax cuts. I don't really know what he's talking about there, given the tax burden is at a ridiculously high level now. You've also got Austrian MEP Andreas Schneider there saying he's met Starmer and can see he would be much better, that he would be reliable, that there have been too many breaches under the Conservatives and that they know when Starmer agrees to something, it will be settled and this is what the EU is looking for. By the way, let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's somewhat inappropriate uh, to see uh, EU politicians uh, commenting on who they would like to see as the next Prime Minister. I can't really think of many examples in this country of MPs saying, oh, no, 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 in Germany or France, this is actually who we would like to see uh, as Prime Minister, as Chancellor. But you've got Fabian Zuleg here, Chief Exec of the European Policy Centre, another one commenting, saying the EU is not taking a Starmer government for granted, but it is apparently the preferred outcome. Uh, another Dutch MEP here, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name, <laughs> saying here in Brussels we want stability, reliability and confidence and that has been badly damaged by the Conservatives and, and that they cannot wait for Keir Starmer to be Prime Minister. What an endorsement that is. Uh, everyone in Brussels apparently is aching for a new relationship and he is quietly building trust and investing in a solid relationship. Another commenting on this, Eric Maurice there, a researcher uh, a Brussels-based think tank saying at least with a Labour government we can expect Britain will be more aligned with, with the EU on issues like the environment and social uh, dumping. So yeah, you've had Starmer at the World Economic Forum uh, talking about a close relationship with the EU and seemingly some in the EU very keen to see Keir Starmer in as Prime Minister. I don't find that very surprising at all. I suspect many in the EU would see that as a first step to the UK uh, rejoining and getting the British cash cow back in the block. Uh, but let me know what you make of all of that in the comments below, guys. As ever, I will keep bringing you all the very latest 
on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.